Today we're doing the third video in the Alpha Easy Military versus Chameleon Impus series. We'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison, weighing them out, seeing what they're all about, and uh, comparing them to one another. So stick with me, and let's get started. You are listening to the Emergency Broadcast Systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. If you haven't seen the first and second videos of the series, I'll put a link right here in the video and you can go and check those out before watching this one. Now to be fair guys, this comparison wasn't my idea. In fact, I feel like I kind of got suckered into it because when you compare two products together, there always has to be a loser and I don't necessarily like that. So please keep that in mind when you're watching this. We're keeping it real. Alright, let's go. First up, we have the Alpha Match from Alpha Antennas versus the Hybrid Micro from Chameleon Antennas. The Alpha Match has a range of 80 through 6 meters using the Easy Military Stick and 160 meters through 6 meters using the MCOM Element. It's also got 500 watts PEP. In contrast, the Chameleon Hybrid Micro has a range of 160 meters through 6 meters using the Chameleon Mill Whip or the Wire Element. It's got 100 watts PEP. On the scale, the Alpha Match comes in at 480 grams or 1.05 pounds. The Military Stick is a lightweight at 380 grams or 13.4 ounces. The Jaw Clamp is a heavyweight at 400 grams or 14.1 ounces. The Envis Element comes in at 410 grams or 14.46 ounces. The counterpoise kit comes in at a whopping 960 grams or 2.12 pounds. The MCOM element comes in at 520 grams or 1.1 pounds. The large bag comes in at 510 grams or 1.12 pounds while the small bag is 220 grams or 7.76 ounces. Now let's move over to the impulse. The Hybrid Micro comes in at just under 300 grams. The Mill Whip also comes in at 300 grams or 10.58 ounces. The 60 foot wire element with cable winder comes in at 340 grams. Next up, the combined four piece counterpoise kit comes in at 500 grams or 17.63 ounces. The jaw mount comes in at 350 grams or 12.34 ounces. The dipole mount comes in at 200 grams or 7.05 ounces. The tripod comes in at 1.8 kilos or 3.96 pounds. Finally, we have the Mill EXT or extension which comes in at 400 grams or 14.1 ounces. And now we arrive at the side-by-side -side comparison portion of the video. Well, let's start with the Alpha Match and the Hybrid Micro. So we already know that every product has its strengths and its weaknesses. For the Alpha Match, I would say its strength is the 500 watt rating. As a weakness, I would say the build quality and the materials used in manufacturing. In contrast, the Chameleon Hybrid Micro's strength is its build quality. While some might argue the 100 watt rating is its weakness. Next up, Chameleon Mill Whip versus Alpha Mill Stick. Build quality and finishing work on these two products are light years apart. Each one having its own strengths and weaknesses. The Alpha Mill Stick is a 12 section collapsible whip. It breaks down small because of the multiple sections, which gives you a longer whip with a smaller breakdown size. The Achilles heel is the losses associated with having so many joints in this collapsible whip. In contrast, the Chameleon Mill Whip has five segments. With fewer sections, we have fewer connection losses but those longer sections are more difficult to pack. 
In the end, you'll have to decide for yourself which is more important, a more compact antenna or a more efficient antenna. Now we're going to do a continuity test of both antennas. Let's start with the alpha mill stick. Initially, it was quite difficult to find continuity between the ferrule and the end sections. And this is because the anodized coating which coats the tubes was only removed in a small section of the tube. With such a small conductive area, I wonder if the entire antenna is radiating 100% of the time. When the series is done, I may use a Dremel tool to remove some of the anodized coating. Let's go ahead and measure the chameleon. Unlike the alpha, every exposed surface on the chameleon is conductive. So both antennas have a similar anodized coating, but it seems that chameleon has taken the extra step to remove the anodized coating from any surfaces that make contact with one another. Moving forward. Normally I wouldn't even have thought to have done a test like this, but this request came from radiopreppers.com, so small shout out for them. If you're planning to do any type of invis configuration with either of these whips, this test is relevant to you. On the left we have the chameleon and on the right we have the alpha mill stick. Unfortunately, the alpha mill stick is far too flexible to be put in any horizontal invis configuration. That's not the end of the world for the mill stick. You can always use the MCOM element with the INVIS element for INVIS configuration. Even after adjusting the mounts, we weren't able to get a good enough angle that's perpendicular to the ground with the alpha mill stick. In contrast, the chameleon mill whip, with or without its extension, works just fine in a horizontal INVIS configuration. Finally, we arrive at the cable inspection. Now, I have to tell you that I was really disappointed about the quality of the wire used by Alpha Antennas. It's a household appliance wire. It's heavy, it's brittle in cold weather, and it actually stretches. This isn't a good thing. But what is a good thing is Alpha Antenna's commitment to eventually upgrade the wire they use in their antenna systems. And on the other hand, we have chameleon antennas. Chameleon uses copper clad steel wire rated for minus 40 to 105 Celsius. And more on that in a moment. I don't want to sound like I'm kissing the butts of chameleon antenna, but when you look at this wire, you look at the finishing work, you look at all the attention to detail and the effort putting it all together, and you know that you're getting a quality product. Now most of you know that I live on the west coast of Finland, uh, just a bit south from the Arctic Circle. It does get cold here. And when I told Chameleon Antennas that one of the wire elements they sent me was broken in some extreme weather, they decided to upgrade the wire that they use on their antennas. So in the end, something good comes out of these comms gear reviews. So at the last count, I had 27 messages asking me this question. And here's how I'm going to answer it. One of these antenna systems would do just fine for an afternoon of man portable ops at the park. The other one is good for that too, but would also be fine on a SOTA expedition to Mount Everest or crossing Antarctica. It's all about your requirements, guys. And that brings us to the end of this video. In about a week, I'll start publishing the head-to-head -head whisper results for each antenna and move forward with the series. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also find us on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Google+, where we share lots of different content from our channel buddies. With that, I say rock and roll, and thanks for watching.